Hey everybody! Kyle and Crystal here and we want to revisit ketogenic. It's so popular and so many people are asking about it, but there's a lot of misconceptions out there still. There is a healthy way to do it and a very unhealthy way to do it. So we just really want to kind of revisit that and re-encourage you to maybe try keto, but make sure that you're doing it the right way. Yeah, we still have a lot of patients that kind of are a little bit misinformed on how you're supposed to do keto. They get scared away because someone will say, that's really bad for your body, don't do it. So we just want to clear up some of, those, uh, some of those ideas and make sure that people are doing it the best way. So first and foremost, ketogenic diets are extremely popular. So when you go to the store, you're gonna see a lot of frozen foods and you're gonna see a lot of packaged foods that are keto friendly or keto approved or whatever that is. Now that's where you do have to do your due diligence, okay? Because we like to eat whole foods, real food, food that we prepare ourselves. Now that's not always so easy for everybody when you're on the go and living a busy lifestyle. But the main thing that when we talk about uh, keto is you're gonna have lots of vegetables represented that's gonna be your main food source, is your vegetables, okay? That's your main carbohydrate source. And remember, ketogenic is high fat, low carb, and moderate protein. So we like to suggest that you get those real low amount of carbohydrates from your vegetables. Yeah, so you're gonna balance your diet with a ton of vegetables. It's not just one vegetable, one protein, and you know, like the old style making your food. You're gonna have lots of different vegetables tons of different vegetables with a small amount of protein mm -hmm. and then you're going to cover the whole thing with fat. You're going to have either your olive oil, uh, whether you use butter, whether you use coconut oil, algae oil, whatever that is, that's where you're going to get the bulk of uh, your fat is yes. going to be, that's going to be just mixed in with your pile of vegetables and whatever uh, moderate amount of protein you chose to, to eat. Yes, and you have to be careful though because you can't eat all vegetables on ketogenic. So that's where you might want to find somebody that can help you because there's a lot of information out there. If you yeah. Google it, some will say, yeah, I do this, I do that. So the whole goal is you want to kind of get what we call keto adapted. Once you get keto adapted, then you can kind of change and figure out what works best for you. But yeah. you've got to first be real strict on ketogenic to get your body keto adapted. Yeah. Then you can kind of veer and, and test things from there. But it's best to start with just that protein that fat in those vegetables. Yeah, so think too, with the vegetables, that's where you're gonna get all your carbs, that's where you're gonna get all your fiber, and that's what's gonna balance everything out. That's, all, that's where you're gonna get all your nutrition too, okay? So, and, and if you're worried about your cholesterol with these fats, remember these are heart healthy fats, and if you are eating a lot of vegetables, that really helps to pull any excess cholesterol out of the body. Yeah, and it's gonna be in a balanced way, okay? Yes. So we already talked about how your body needs fat, it relies on flat fat, it needs it in an abundance, it to work optimally. If you go back and look at our previous YouTube videos, you can really understand that and you can go follow a little bit more on what keto actually does to your body and why it's good to do once in a while and cycle that in and out. But we really want you to make sure you're doing it the right way. Some people even have said, oh, well, I'm not going to do keto because I know people, um, they'll go to McDonald's or a fast food chain or something and they just don't get the bun. Okay, so this is a big mistake. All right, that's not keto. All right. Keto isn't just not eating carbs, all right? Keto is making sure that your protein, if you're doing an animal protein, is a from, it's from a sustainable source. That means that it's grass-fed. It means it represents the environment in the best way possible, uh, whether it's chicken, fish, wild-caught fish, whatever it is, that's where you start with your protein, okay? So your vegetables, your vegetables still need to be healthy uh, as well. So your vegetables should really be organic um, and grown properly in, in, a, in a sustainable region, things like that. Um, do your best there. I know it's not always the case and it's not always easy for everyone to do that, but your vegetables are going to be represented that way, your animal protein is going to be represented that way, and then your fat's going to cover everything, okay? It's not just about eliminating carbs. It's about getting the foods, getting the information. It's not about feeding yourself calories. It's about feeding yourself information. Your body needs certain information for it to work optimally, and that's how we balance this out. So don't just think you can hack it, cheat it by eating tons of dairy and cheese and all these other things just because they might not have carbs in it. Be careful, your soft Heavy cheeses, cream. creams, your milk, that all has sugar in it, that all has, that can be inflammatory to your body. Um, so if you are gonna do a little bit of dairy, if your body can handle it, you know, you wanna make sure that it's from a grass-fed cow that, um, or, or, or goat um, that is aged properly, um, that it's not soft, that it's not quick, that it's not processed. So those things we still avoid, okay? So just because you do keto, the rules of healthy eating and whole food eating still apply. That's right.
also be yeah. careful with the packaged foods. That was the other one I wanted to talk about besides just uh, dropping carbs. So something might um, be labeled as a vegetable source or whatever it is. Make sure you see exactly what the ingredients are because they might put other fillers and other starches and other things in there that actually increase uh, the sugar content or carb content. Um, so you're thinking, oh no, that's all that this is, but it's got other things filled into it. So you do have right. to be careful there too. So packaged foods can be a little bit problematic. So you really have to make sure you read the ingredients on what you're eating and what those values are um, on your nutrition label. Yes. So there's a healthy way to do it and an unhealthy way to do it. And it is not just about weight loss. It should be, you know, for a healthy foundation for, I mean, you can, you can do this for so many other reasons because ketogenic, when it's done right, is uh, extremely healthy for you and you can yeah. overcome a lot of other things um, besides just that weight loss. Yeah. So we just wanna encourage you to do it the healthy way. Uh, we're here to help you with my nutrition programs. I love to put yeah. people on keto if they think that they can really buckle down and do it. Yeah. Um, they see really great results, so I'm happy to help you with that. So just be careful with your Googling because there's a lot of false information. Sometimes I just go, oh my gosh. Yeah. So just be careful with that and if you're not losing weight, you're not doing something right. Yeah, keto, <laughs> it switches the way your body burns energy. So it's it impossible works. not for you to, it, it's impossible not to pull from your energy stores if you're, in, if you're uh, in ketosis. And you're doing it properly. So if you're doing it properly, you will lose weight. All right, guys. Good luck. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, bye.